Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to create the form wizard in OpenOffice database. Let's see with practical example here. First of all, we need to open the OpenOffice. Now just double click on the OpenOffice and it will display the OpenOffice. Here you will get the multiple options. I'm just going to create the form wizard in database. So just click on the database here and uh, it will display a dialog box database wizard and now create a new database. I'm just going to create a new database. So click on the next and then click on the finish. Okay, here you need to write the name of the database. I'm just going to write here my database name as a the new database. 17 and then click on the save okay and uh, it will create the view look like this and first of all we need to create a table which is connected with the form now I just click on the create table in the de design view you can create the table using the create table in design view or using wizard to create the table now I'm just going to take the create table in design view just double click and uh, this will create the view like this and write here the field name as a rule number and uh, select the data type as a integer and uh, name as a text type and city as a text type and now make the Row number as a primary key. Just right click on the row selector and choose the primary key. Now the row number has become a primary key and no, it will not take the any duplicate data from the user. Now save this table as a table one and click on OK and now close it. Now my table is created here, table one. Now we move to the form and just click on the form here. It will give the right side right side pane as a two option. Create form in design view and use wizard to create the form. I'm just choosing here the use wizard to create the form. Click here and it will display a form wizard here and display the table here, table or queries. My table name is a table one and the field is roll number, name and city. Just click on this button and all field come to the right pane and field in the form. And just click here. And select all the fields from the table one and roll number, name and city. This field is used by the form. Now just click on the next and click on the next. Choose here the layout for your form look here your form look like this roll number and name and the city you can select any of the format from the form wizard and you will also select this and uh, like this so i'm just going to select this one here and now click on the next select the data entry mode i'm just select the first radio button to enter the data new new data only and just click on the next and select here the style for your form i'm just applying here the style 3d look and uh, click on the next and look here set the name of the form just write here the form name i'm just write here the form name as a student and uh, Select the work with the form and now click on the finish. Okay, it will create the student form here. I'm just going to close this form and look here. My table name is a table one and the form name is a student. Just double click on here. It will open the student form here. And now I'm just going to insert a new record here. Just enter one. You will look here this is new record when you enter the data here like one and uh, ram and uh, ct as a gkp and click on the 
new record here it will insert it in your table with the help of this form and uh, now just click here first record just move to the first record and now I am just going to click here the next record now I am just enter the second record here and uh, city as a uh, no item now click on the new record here just click first and then next record is two I have inserted two records in my table from here and you will delete the records from here just um, close this form and go to table double click here you will get here the two records one ram gkp two ram is no error just close it now i'm just going to open the form again here click here and uh, now <coughs> when you enter any data like this it's automatically hide the new record here or enables the new record here and when you click on the new record it is automatically insert this record into the connected table and now I'm just close it and uh, right click here and click on the edit you can change the view of your form here just click on here look here if you want to give form name just select the label field here this is the label field here just drag and drop from here and uh, just double click here it will open a properties label field and in the property label field just look here name of the label field is label one and label display the label field and just select it and erase or delete the information and right here the registration registration form okay this information will be displayed on your label here and now I'm just change the font size you can select here the font size default is here and uh, now click here give me one minute font here just click here okay just click on the font and uh, select the font size from here I'm just taking the font size as a 22 and font color as a orange and just click on okay and just close it now registration form it's the form name uh, as a labeled as a registration form in this way you can label the form as a registration form and everyone see this form as a registration form thank you friends please like and comment my video thanks for watching my video thanks a lot